What's up, YouTube? My name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV. Welcome to another episode of Kenny J TV. If this is your first time, feel free to browse around and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for my latest notification. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to Kenny J TV. I started my agency at 23 years old. I am now 27 years old. And in this video, I'm going to list a few things that I wish I would have known that could have saved me from spending unnecessary money or being stressed and all the things. So I wanted to share this list that I've compiled together to help you guys, whether you're a brand new agent or you're a newer agent that's getting started and you want to avoid some of these mistakes. The first thing I learned is it's not all about selling. It's about running a business. So when I opened my agency, I thought, all I have to do is sell. All I have to do is bring in the clients. I'll make the money. I'll make a lot of money and that's it. And what I soon found out is I was wearing a lot of different hats from marketing to IT to customer service to salesmen. I didn't realize all of the hats that I would have to wear as a business owner. And the tip that I would give you for this is treat your agency as a business day one make sure your finances are together i would highly recommend consulting or hiring an accountant and or bookkeeper as well those are the people that can really keep your documents and your paperwork all together that is their profession they know what they are doing so i have a trusted accountant and bookkeeper that i use for all of my financials number two your network is more important than you think. You always hear the saying, your network is your net worth, and that is absolutely true. In the beginning, I did network. I did go out and market, but it wasn't to the consistent level that I needed it to be. Find the people that you can use for referral partners, mentors, colleagues in the insurance industry that can truly help you because the bigger your network, the more successful you're going to be because you're going to have those different resources. My tip for you would be to get involved with networking early on, join local groups. So I'm a part of a chamber of commerce in my area and I recently just won an election and now I'm on the board for the chamber of commerce. And when I tell you, I wish I would have done this day one in my business because the amount of connections I've received, the referrals, the events that we're doing next year together in collaboration with the Chamber of Commerce and Remedy, I am very, very excited. And it gives your business a lot of positive visibility. And because you're in the organization with a lot of these people, they're willing to support you because that is the common interest that you guys both have. The next thing that I learned, and this is like a very, very, very important one all of them are important but this one is like top of the food chain right here every client is not a good client when i first started i was writing any and everyone that allowed me to give them a quote and in turn what that turned into was people draining my resources my time my efforts and it wasn't really worth having that client on my book of business so what i did was i started to find clients that aligned with my goals and my values and it went up from there so what that looks like is i started marketing to a luxury or higher net worth client and what that resulted in was less cancellations my clients weren't late on payments and things like that. And I know every population has to be served, but I wanted to focus on them. I wanted to learn from them as well as them learn from me because I'm bringing something powerful, a powerful asset that they don't have, and that's the knowledge of insurance. So find that niche network for you and find out who is the perfect client for your agency because no, everyone is not gonna be a great fit for your agency. Another tip is time management is everything. You think, oh, I'm starting a business, I get to work when I want, how I want, I'm living the life. But without any type of structure, you can potentially lose a lot of money in your business. I live by my calendar 
I recently started living by a daily calendar. It just helps me stay organized. You want to break your day up from admin work to service work for clients to sales to policy reviews because if you don't, what I found myself doing as my book grew and increased, I saw myself doing a lot of service work and the days would go by and I've just done nothing but service work but sales is just as important. But because I didn't have a schedule, I didn't have certain cutoff times where I would just do sales, it suffered. And then that showed in the revenue that week. So you wanna make sure that you're having some type of structure with your time throughout the day because time is the most valuable asset that we have. The next tip that I have for you is retention is just as important as sales. In the beginning, again, I'm thinking, I just need to write all these policies. I need to sell all of this insurance. And I quickly realized that the service aspect of running an agency is just as important, whether it's renewals, policy changes, payments. You wanna make sure that you're taking care of your clients. One big tip that I would give is if you can't afford it, hire an account manager, hire someone that can assist you with that, that won't take your eyes off of the big ticket items, like the big deals that you can close. And also build relationships with your clients as well. Insurance is a relationship building business. So when you build this relationship and you have this rapport with the client, they are less likely to find another agent. Check in with them regularly. Make sure that your clients feel valued. Just have a short conversation every time that they call in it shouldn't feel like a transaction ask how their day is going keep up with what they have going on and that's the beauty of having a CRM you can notate the conversation that you had with the client right then and there so when you have the next conversation you can read up and see what did I talk about with Miss Smith last time it's not that hard it's just a little bit more effort but it would take your business so much further the last tip that I have for you and I need you to listen to me carefully Insurance is a slow game. I know you guys have heard, oh, I made $100,000 in two months or three months or what have you. It is not realistic. It is not the average agent that can do that. I did not make six figures my first year in insurance, but I was consistent. You have to be consistent. You have to show up even when you don't feel motivated because entrepreneurship is not for the week, it is not for the faint of heart. Focus on the long game, celebrate the small wins, and even if you get a new phone system, celebrate that because it will continue to push you and motivate you as well. And again, trust that consistency will pay off. Just because you don't see the progress, that doesn't mean that there is no progress happening. I promise you, just show up every day, stay motivated, and make sure that your mental state is well. You want to make sure that you're taking care of that as well. Of course, your business is important, but if you're not good, your business will not be able to thrive. And those are a few tips that I have for starting your own agency or things that I wish I would have known when starting my agency. I have a mentorship program. The information is in the comment box below. I have trained hundreds of agents across the country on how to grow their agency without using leads. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for my latest notifications. Again, my name is Kenny J. The Insurance Guru, and this is Kenny JTV.